Now, if you're the Houston Astros, this offseason has been an absolute buzzkill. And yesterday, the internet was buzzing. Yesterday, the Astros cheating scandal broke the internet again. And we're going to break down everything that went down yesterday. And it all started when someone claiming to be Carlos Beltran's niece, she was dropping bombs on Twitter. At S0 underscore blessed one. I'm told to stay quiet, but I refuse. Sorry, Tio. Jose Altuve and Bregman wore devices that buzz on inside right shoulder from hallway video guy. Let's get it all out now. I have pictures from Locker I will keep for rainy day. Altuve didn't want shirt torn off, if I remember. Maybe I misspoke, but Chapman gave up home run in game. Now, shortly after that tweet, Marley Rivera from ESPN tweeted, The Beltron family told me that this individual, who claims to be Carlos Beltron's niece, is not related to the family in any way. This person may or may not have additional information about the Houston Astros sign-stealing scandal, but they are not related to the Beltrons. My response to that is not related anymore. They probably disowned her as soon as she tweeted that. Now, yes, it may not be Carlos Beltran's knees, but this account has credibility. This is the same account that said the Mets were going to hire Carlos Beltran. This is the same account that said the Mets were going to part ways with Carlos Beltran. So it does have some credibility. Now, this is the play that everyone's talking about. Of course, Game 6, ALCS, Jose Altuve hits the walk-off against Araldis Chapman. And then you see when he's rounding the bases, he's coming into home. You know how that works. You get your shirt ripped off. This is Major League Baseball, but he's telling the guys, do not rip my shirt off. Here, check this out. Play the clip. And as you can see, as he makes his way to the plate, he's holding on to his jersey for dear life. He's saying, hey, no, don't do it. They're going to know I'm wearing a buzzer. They're going to know we're all cheaters. We're cheating here on the Astros. No, nah, but really, you remember, the killer bees were Biggio, Bagwell, and Berkman. It turns out the killer bee was Jose Altuve, and he was buzzing underneath that jersey. And another thing that was suspicious was the way he left the field. He goes right into the team clubhouse to switch shirts into his championship shirt. Why does he need to do that? Why doesn't he stay on the field? And why would it be a big deal for them to take his jersey off? Look, he's done it in the past. He did it here. He did it here, and he also did it here. This is a guy who's hit walk-offs in the past and gotten the same treatment. But like I said, he's got that jersey in a death grip, and it looks very suspicious. Here's what he said to Ken Rosenthal after the game as to why he didn't allow them to take his shirt off. I think he was just thanking God and uh, just thinking that we're going to the World Series once again. We asked the teammates not to tear your shirt. Why? What's that? Did you ask your teammates not to tear your shirt? Why was that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm too shy. Last time they did that, I got in trouble with my wife. <laughs> So he says that he didn't want to take his shirt off because his wife would be mad at him. Bruh. His wife, after hitting a game-winning walk-off home run to send his team to the World Series, would be mad at him, would be upset at him because his team ripped off his jersey. Can you imagine that? You hit the walk-off home run and your wife is upset with you? That doesn't make a lot of sense. It also didn't make sense how he fled the field immediately to go into the Astros clubhouse to change into his t-shirt, his ALCS championship t-shirt, all the while the rest of his teammates did it in the dugout, did it on the field. Yet the guy who hits the walk-off shot is the only guy that needs to go into the clubhouse to change his shirt. It just doesn't add up. Now to get more sports exclusive, we've just obtained leaked footage of Jose Altuve in that Astros dugout just minutes before he hit that walk-off shot off Araldis Chapman. I am Buzz Lightyear. I come in peace. Oh, I'm so glad you're cheater. Bye bye. Thank you. Now, thank you all for your kind welcome. Say, what's that button do? I'll show you. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. Oh. Altuve has just sent the Astros to the World Series. Oh. 
Now, Jose Altuve strongly denied wearing a wire in a tweet from Joel Sherman that read, reach out to Scott Boris about his client, Jose Altuve. When this came up today, Jose Altuve immediately contacted me, and this is his statement. I have never worn an electronic device in my performance as a major league player. And then Scott Boris continued, Altuve has never been involved in any information with the use of an electronic device that is triggered during the course of the game. Fans need to keep in mind that there are a lot of players who are in the spider web, but they are not in the Black Widow, just because they're a member of the team or the league. And then Major League Baseball released a statement Thursday that read, Major League Baseball explored wearable devices during the investigation, but found no evidence to substantiate it. Really? Of course you didn't find any evidence because Jose Altuve went inside the clubhouse and destroyed the evidence. And then players around the league, they were heated. Mike Clevenger, he sounded off. This is where throwing hard has his MF perks, BB. So either police it MLB or I'll get back to my training. They shouldn't feel comfortable looking at any of us in the eye, let alone on the field, and any other MLB player feel different, they can get it too. Then the MVP sounded off. Cody Bellinger tweets, for the sake of the game, I hope this isn't true. If true, there needs to be major consequences to the players. That completely ruins the integrity of the game. Trevor Bauer, I've heard this from multiple parties too, for what it's worth. Then Alex Wood, I would rather face a player that was taking steroids than face a player that knew every pitch that was coming. And then this picture of Josh Reddick breaks the internet. At first, it looked like it was a buzzer and a band-aid. Turns out it was probably a necklace and some confetti. But if you're the Astros, this is the new normal. We're all living in the usual suspects, and we're looking for Kaiser Soze. Because this story is going nowhere. I can't wait to read the books. I can't wait to watch the movie. We're going to be talking about this for years. And if I was the Houston Astros at this point, I think I would rather just give up the trophy. I would rather just forfeit the 2017 World Series, forfeit last year's World Series appearance, because look, that would free them up, and that would be the end of it. Because at this point, I think it's what's best, not only for the whole entire league, not only for the game of baseball, but for the Houston Astros organization. I think at this point, that is just going to be a dark cloud over that organization for their entire existence. Just look at these splits for Clayton Kershaw. Clayton Kershaw at home in 2017, a .081 ERA. On the road, a 6.75 ERA. Something was up. I think vacating the World Series and possibly banning the Houston Astros from postseason play is the move. I hate to be a Buzz Killington. You're a bigger Buzz Kill than Buzz Killington. But your fans, your players, your coaches, they're going to be taking abuse for years to come. This is not going away anytime soon. So I think if you really want to get back, if you really want to start to rebuild that franchise, you forfeit the 2017 World Series.